Hey everyone, my name is Richie Averill, your Mic Drop host, and welcome back to the Divorce Series. If you have not watched the first few videos in this series, you can click the link below in the description box and start from the beginning. And today I'm joined by Joan Rogliano. Welcome back. Thank you. And we've got some more questions about a divorce. Okay. And more specifically for potential buyers and sellers that are going through a divorce. So what should homeowners look for when hiring a realtor during their divorce? They want to work with someone that um, I, I teach a class on this and I put on big ears because you need someone that's really going to listen yeah. to what, what um, your goals are and what you think you want to do. Mm -hmm. And this person should always have uh, maybe an extra dash of patience okay. to help you walk through this. Yeah. They have to be very organized because, and going through a divorce, you're maybe struggling with that a yeah. little bit because there's so much going on. So buying or selling a home is a re really important decision. You need someone that's going to help you to come to the right conclusion for you. And then once you have that decision made, if you're going to be selling, we'll be very organized and keep you on track to get that done. Very good. Good to know. And is it possible for someone to buy a home prior to the divorce being finalized? They can do it, but the operative word here is they have to do it very carefully. Okay. Because if you purchase a home before a divorce is final, there is a possibility that that could become part of marital property. Gotcha. And um, in working with uh, consumers, sometimes they say, oh, no, 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 there's no problem. We're getting along just great. And so he or she would never lay claim to the home I'm right. buying. But you never know how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. So it's excellent advice to have this individual talk with an attorney. Mm -hmm. There's a very simple document which can be drawn up, which says that, no, I will not lay claim to this. Both parties sign yeah. it. It's submitted to the court. And then everyone is clear. So and be careful and get it in writing. Yes. Get everything in writing. Good to know. So that would be buying a home prior to uh, the divorce being finalized. And going through divorce oftentimes brings credit issues. So what's some advice uh, or what can a couple do um, in order to buy after if this brings down their credit score? Well, this is where your team member who is the lender really comes into play. Yes. yes. Because they have a background in this and they know how to get people on track you know you it, it might take you a year it might take you two years but they will set you up with a specific program mm -hmm. to repair your credit good to know and what are some challenges that could be faced if one party wants to buy out the other party and stay in the marital home well you have to look at that really carefully mm -hmm. and um the first stop here again is going to that team member who's a lender yeah because Oftentimes, someone wants to keep the home for emotional reasons in particular, and you have a pretty good idea that the numbers aren't going to work for them to be able to buy the other party out because they're going to have to do that, right. and then they're going to have to take out a new loan. They're going to have exactly. to refinance. Very good. Good to know. And how is it important for the couple to do their homework? Um, about the title to their home? Oh boy, that's a really good question <laughs> because oftentimes people don't do that and I um, I have heard of situations, as a matter of fact, I just had one recently where the woman was um, advised to check the title of her property and they owned three properties together mm -hmm. which were in an LLC. Mm -hmm. Well, her soon-to-be ex-spouse quick-claimed the property from the LLC, one of the properties uh -huh. from the LLC, to himself. Okay. So she no longer owned that property. Right. So there's now a court proceeding to get that scored away, yeah. but you certainly need to know that ASAP. My follow-up question would have been, what do you do in that situation? So apparently it's a court proceeding. Yes, it is. Her attorney's already filed what needs to be Very filed good. to get that scored away. So if you are thinking about getting a divorce or currently in a divorce, it's very important to make sure that if you're going to do anything with your marital home, that you assemble a great team, including a, a lender that specializes in divorce and a, a real estate agent or a realtor that focuses on divorce, and make sure that you understand the options that you have. So thanks again, Joan, for joining us. My really pleasure. appreciate it. And we'll see you again on the next edition of our divorce series. Thank you.